Go. All right, guys, we're going to do the machine checkout now for the Steva. First thing you want to do with any machine checkout is check your backup oxygen tank. Make sure that it has enough PSI, at least 1,000 PSI. And you'll find those at the hospital outside of the room. And then as you're going back, I'm making sure that all my connections are good and tight. Everything's plugged in. I'm going to check my ambi bag. I'm going to clip it in, make sure it holds pressure, and then it can bring in air. While I'm back here, I'm going to check my e-cylinders. If I can find this. So all you need to do for this is open up the air. You just crack it open for a few seconds, close it. We'll do the same thing for oxygen. Crack it open, close it righty tighty, lefty loosey on those. So I'm going to come around here and check my cylinder pressures, make sure that I have um, for oxygen a minimum of a thousand. We're of course empty here. While I'm here, I'm also going to check my pipeline pressures and make sure, sure that those are all at um, 50 PSI. So next I want to go ahead and fill up my vaporizers. Got my DES here, which is a key fill system. Stick it in all the way. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and fill up my ISO. This is a funnel fill system. Open it up. I want to do this before I do my low pressure check to make sure that I don't have any leaks. Pour it in. And just check your levels right there. <coughs> While I'm in here, I'm going to grab my bulb for my low pressure check. I'm going to take the end and include it with my thumb, squeeze it, make sure that it can stay as closed. Down here, I'm going to pull down this green level lever and put the bulb into the auxiliary common gas outlet. Squeeze it and get all the air out of the low pressure system and make sure that it holds for a minimum of 10 seconds, which it does. And you want to make sure all your uh, flow meters are turned off. Now I'm going to check my vaporizers to make sure they don't have a leak. Open one up, squeeze the bulb, same thing, make sure it holds. While I'm here, I'm going to check my interlock system and make sure that I can't open up the other one. Close it, and I would do the same thing for DES, but because it has no agent, it's not going to let me check. So once we're done with our low pressure check, you just pull this out, but make sure you close this green lever there. Put this back. And that completes the low pressure check. Close this up, and now we can turn on the machine. And we're going to go ahead and check our flow meters first. You want to take them all the way up to the top and bring them down, make sure that they don't get stuck anywhere. Now with the Link 25 for this machine, we're going to turn on nitrous oxide and make sure there's always a 3 to 1 ratio with oxygen. We'll take that all the way up. And then we'll take oxygen all the way up, make sure that it goes up without getting stuck. As we bring oxygen down, the Link 25 should also bring down nitrous oxide. So we just want to verify that, which it does, so we're good there. So the way I remember it is the last thing I touch is oxygen here, so now I want to check my O2 sensor here. So I'm going to open this up, pull on that little tab. When you take off your flow sensors, there should be an alarm that comes up, which it does. While you're here, you can just make sure that everything looks good. You're going to remove your O2 sensor, leave it open to air. You're going to hit menu, set up calibration, O2 sensor cal, 21%. And it's going to tell you to remove the sensor and then just hit start. I'm not going to do that here, but that's how you calibrate your O2 sensor. So we're going to put this, screw this back on. When you screw it back on, you want to make sure it's tight, but not too tight. You don't want to over tighten it. Close this up here. Okay, so now that we've checked our O2 sensor, we can go ahead and check the pressure in our system. So you can just take off your mask. Include the end here. Do it this way. So, first thing we want to do is close our APL valve. Of course, make sure your switch is on APL. Close it, and you're going to flush it. You 
bags are going to fill up. You want to make sure that the system will hold a minimum of 30 centimeters H2O, which it does. While I'm here, we have our pressure limit set at 40. So I want to check two things. I want to check my high pressure limit. So as I squeeze the bag, this dial is going to go over 40. Now we have a high pressure alarm and a sustained um, pressure alarm, which is both what we're looking for right now. So as I open up the EPL valve, I want to make sure that it it doesn't just, you know, that I can bring it down and stop it where I need to. Now that it's all the way at min, we're going to do the O2 flush again. Now it's important is that you're checking on the back side here that this green bag fills up all the way. You'll hear a hissing sound. The important thing to know is that this dial does not go over 10 centimeters of H2O. So now that we're done with that, we're going to flip it over into vent mode. When you flip it over to vent mode, you want to grab your bag here and make an artificial lung. And then just rest it here. You don't really want to touch it. We'll go ahead and fill up our bellows. Fill up our lung. Now it's going to take a few breaths to get everything started here. But it should get going here. There it goes. So while this is getting started, I'm going to go ahead and just take a quick peek back here and make sure that um, the bag for scavenging is opening and closing when my bellows go up and down, which it is. And if it's not, you can, there's a black dial here that you can open and close to adjust it. While the bellows are going up and down, I'm checking my inspiratory and expiratory valves to make sure that both of those are going up and down as the ventilator goes up and down. So we have inspire, expire. While the machine's doing its thing, I want to make sure it's getting fairly close to the tidal volume, which I have set, which it is. It's another reason why you don't really want to touch your lung. And I'm looking for any leaks in the bellows. Make sure it goes all the way up, back up to the top. Um, on this machine, because we have the gas analyzer, it's not going to go all the way up. But if you turn it up to about 250 mils here, it should go all the way back up to the top and it should stay up there just in case you notice. But those are the things that we're looking for when we're on the vent mode. So everything looks good for that. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect my login. So now what I'm looking for is a disconnect alarm. Put that back on while I'm here. This will take a couple of seconds. The first alarm that you'll see is cannot drive bellows. Or low. Okay, so there goes our cannot drive bellows. We should get another alarm. There we go. So we know that all of our alarms are working and that we can hear them. So we can go ahead and take this off of vent mode now that we've changed our alarm or verified our alarm. Take that off there. So now what I also like to do is make sure that my CO2 is not um, pleated, that it's not purple anywhere, which that's good. I'm going to come around here now and check my suction. And we're going to turn it to full. Make sure that it can have suction. Also, while you're here, you want to make sure that the white hose is on the top and that somebody didn't connect it anywhere else. We also want to make sure that we can regulate our suction. To do that, it's the same thing. You hold it, you can increase it or minimize it, so we're good. So we're going to change it to full. Go ahead and include it and get it set up for the patient for the next case. While I'm here, I'm making sure that my mask is on, my machine set to APL, my APL valve is set to min, and then now I'm also going to go ahead and check the CO2 gas analyzer, just blow in. I'm looking for a waveform. That's not part of the machine checkout, but it's just important to do to make sure that everything's working before your patient um, gets into the room. And that's how you do a machine checkout on the Aceva.